Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Johnson. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. Family and friends are grieving today after 46-year-old Greg Reby died unexpectedly doing what he loved. The crystal father of two was playing in a pond hockey tournament on Lake Minnetonka Friday when he suddenly collapsed. Reporter Cassie Bonstrom spoke with those who knew him today, and they are understandably shaken. Cassie? Well, Mike, everyone who knew him is in shock that something like this could happen to someone so young and in seemingly good health. From all accounts, Greg seemed just fine during his team's first games on Friday. A Sun Sailor photographer captured Greg during the tournament, playing hard, even wearing his gold helmet from his Wyzetta High School hockey days. Friends say he went unconscious once, but then recovered. And then it happened a second time, and paramedics were unable to revive him. His longtime friend Eric Vogel remembers Greg's selflessness and loyalty. I know if there was anything I needed, uh, he would drop everything at a moment's notice to, to help me out any way I could, and he would do that for anyone. Greg leaves behind a wife and two young children. A fund has been set up to help with expenses, and more than $16,000 has been raised in just four hours. Everybody's coming together and everybody's supporting and, you know, the family is devastated uh, and, you know, I, I'm sure they don't know where they're going to go next, but I think they do know that they're, they've got supports. A funeral will, for Greg will be held this coming Saturday at St. Philip the Deacon Lutheran Church in Plymouth. Meanwhile, family is still waiting for answers from the medical examiner as to why his heart gave out in the first place. Mike. All right. Thank you, Cassie.